everyone Anjita this side welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to learn another quick tip in cypress so by default in cypress it waits for four seconds to locate an element in case if it did not find element in four seconds it throw error on the page but in case you want to override the settings in cypress we can do that we will see this in today's video so we have a sample test case in which we are opening a URL, which is a demo website, and then have passed an invalid locator over here. So we will see, first of all, how Cypress behave in case of invalid locator, how long it takes to find that element on the page. And later on, we will see how we can override this configuration. So let me run the test case and let me show you. So this is my sample test. So in this test case, first of all, it's opening the URL and then it's trying to find this locator. And it is waiting for four seconds for it to find that element, you see? We are getting error also on the page, timed out retrying after 4000 milliseconds, expected to find element, but never found it. So it will not throw error instantly. It will wait for four seconds element to appear on the page. Fine. Now, let's say we have a scenario in which we don't want to wait for any specific time. We want to instantly check on the page. In that case, you have to pass an option over here. You have to pass timeout as zero. So we will pass timeout. So what it will do? It will basically overwrite the timeout to zero, which will internally disable retrying the query because we are not waiting any seconds over here. We have mentioned timeout out as zero. That means we will not spend any milliseconds trying on the page. So now if I rerun my test case, we'll show you how it will instantly throw error on the page without saying 4,000 milliseconds, it will say zero milliseconds. And if I rerun my test case, the duration will also change because it will not wait for four seconds extra. So you see it's 0 0.03 and inside the assertion error, we can see timed out retrying after zero milliseconds. Earlier it was 4,000, which is the default behavior. But now as we've overwritten this configuration in our test case, it's changed to zero milliseconds. So this is how you can override the retry. You can disable the retry in your test case and use this timeout as zero. Although this is one of the main strength of Cypress, the automatic waiting. But in case you have a requirement where you don't want to wait for any time, you can pass it like this. You can pass timeout as zero and it will disable the retrying, the automatic waiting in your test case. So I hope you find it useful. And if you find it informative and helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be coming up with such more videos in the future. Thank you.